And I'm getting mighty tired of your trifling ways. Join us as we charter a long tail boat to a special island that is not only a sanctuary for home bills, but also home to vibrant marine life, super soft white sands, and a mini jungle village. How did we find this place? How did we get there? Stay tuned to find out. Today we're going to head to Railway Beach and charter a boat to Coral Island. So it seems like our taxi driver knew the boat guys, so they've just dropped us off straight with them. And they've priced up uh, the long tail going to Coral Island for 2,000 baht. Coral Island, yeah. Coral Island, or Kohi as it is known locally, is a stunning tropical island off the south coast of Phuket. It can be reached via long tail boat from the southern town of Rawai. Many digital nomads settle in Rawai as it has a vibrant traveller scene and lots of co-working spaces. Finally on the long tail boat, Rahway. I kind of regret not staying here to be honest, just looking at the beachfront. The beach is not too picturesque, but is a great jumping off point for the surrounding islands. I know Rahway is like a fishing village and the beach isn't much for swimming, however, I've just seen some incredible fish and crabs in the water here just walking up to get into the long tail. And also the beachfront with all the restaurants and cafes and, and uh, little food huts and stuff. It just looks really interesting. I think it's quite a nice place. I can see why a lot of people move here and choose it as a place to live. Uh, I guess it seems a little less cheesy. 2,000 baht to charter the long tail boat for the entire day. So it's about £25 each, which is pretty decent. Last time we came here you could charter it for £30. So so it's around 50 pounds it makes sense in terms of like how covid's affected the economy here so it's like an extra 20 quid i'm not going to fuss about it coral island is famously a natural sanctuary for the incredible hornbill tropical birds there is a floating pier and you are welcomed by the staff from the visitor center where there are fees to enter the island the fees cover your beach chair and beach drinks, man. etc. Thank you. Welcome to Coral Island! Coral Island! Unwieldy brute. What are you doing in there? Eh? Looking comfortable. Coral Island. Where? Coral Island. Get away. <laughs> you can't get rid of me that easy. So how much do you have to pay when you arrive at Coral Island? One million pounds. What? Uh, it's uh, 100 baht if you just want to chat. Uh, if you want to get some your money back in terms of coupons, you can spend money when you're here anyway, so you can pay 200 baht to get 100 baht worth of coupons. That's what we went for. Coupons for what? For, food. you know, food, drink, beer, cocktails. Nice. Don't know what price the cocktails are or the beers or anything yet because we only just got here. <laughs> 300 baht and, uh, each. <laughs> yeah, it turns, yeah, it turns out. It's definitely the most beautiful beach we've been on so far. Like, the way to do southern thailand right is literally just to get a long tail boat out to any of the smaller islands because they're just stunning way, way beautiful. you can see people going out in diving gear which is a really good indicator that there's some good wildlife in the sea Fishes. And we've been told to be careful for urchins so make sure you do bring footwear if you come here the island has a small beach village built from incredible natural cane structures which maximize the beach party vibe whilst offering some shade from the sun which is on the beach all day until late afternoon there is a bar, a restaurant, and a bamboo gymnasium. I felt that this beach seemed particularly clean and well maintained, with really excellent toilet facilities. Everything designed with a jungle vibe. The flora and fauna surrounding the beach is really lush, with palms and bushes giving the place a rich green backdrop. I went for a walk in search of the resident hornbills, a bird colony that lives wild in the hillsides of this island. On my walk, I discovered a few secret walkways and steps leading away from the beach. I was at the top of the hill, enjoying an old man on a swing, when, wait a minute, I saw a hornbill fly off into the forest below. I followed the bird's path along the water's edge until I found it there with its partner hiding in the trees. 
The rare hornbill is a sight to behold, with its heavy set, brightly coloured, down curved bill and cask, which is an enlargement of the bones on the upper mandible. They are the only birds whose first and second neck vertebrae are fused together, I would guess to provide support for that dense bill. They are monogamous breeders and sadly are threatened with extinction in Southeast Asia. I was fascinated by its calm movements and intrigue in the people below. It is nice to see them living wildly with the freedom to fly away into the trees should it get bored of people watching. They are omnivorous birds feeding off fruits, insects and small animals. They cannot swallow food caught at the tip of their beaks as their tongues are too short, so they can be seen jerking their heads to toss morsels to the back of their throats. Such a cool bird. Yeah, the long tail boats are one of my favourite aspects of Thailand. They're absolutely stunning, super fun to ride in them. We were meant to be picked up at about 1ish, but we've decided to stay until 6.30 because we're enjoying it so much. Banana Beach on Coral Island has tons of intrigue, with beautiful turquoise waters, stretches of white sand, jungle village vibes, tasty rum cocktails that may be a little too strong, nice relaxing day beds or reclining chairs, and trees just filled with funky birds. And of course the snorkelling is the main feature of this island, with an abundance of interest in marine life that is very clear to see. I spotted huge schools of fish set against a backdrop of coral, which was still very vibrant in some areas. The fish were really unusual and reflected the dappled light as they swirled in unison. I was lucky to spot a seal-faced puffer floating along the seabed. I love puffer fish, I really think they just look like little dogs. This breed, also known as the dog-faced puffer or black-spotted puffer, has a short snout with two pairs of nostrils and four very strong teeth. And one of my favourite residents of Thailand, the colourful parrotfish crunching away at the corals. The urchins here are no joke here, so bring wet shoes. The shoals of fish move quickly and it's so fun to get amongst them. At times the sheer volume of fish was overwhelming and they would form around you and spin like a tornado. The clarity of the water was spectacular, even as we swam deeper out. Suddenly I spotted something weaving its way under the rock. Hello Mr Eel, I spotted Moray was lurking under the rocks. I kept my distance and used the zoom function because a bite from one of these can be very nasty indeed. An absolutely beautiful animal that feeds during the day on nearby mollusks and crustaceans. Moray eels have poor eyesight and rely heavily on the sense of smell to detect their surroundings. It's an amazing looking creature. Then I spotted one of the more vicious fish in the Thai waters, the barracuda, with a mouthful of fangs. I think it's time to get out. There was a baby in the ocean, no more than two meters away from a giant barracuda. It was huge. We've ordered some food, we're gonna get some curried crab, two more big cocktails, and um, we managed to get like, we're gonna get some sticky rice, like a chicken stir fry with some curried crab. You can't be eating some blue swimmer crab and curry on the beach. I love crab. I love the mess it makes. I love the sweet crab meat. And I love rinsing your hands off in the ocean after eating. Crab is particularly good in spicy yellow curry sauce made from a blend of coconut and turmeric. As we kick back with a pouch of sticky rice and enjoy the feast, we immediately notice that we have made a new friend. All the boats are leaving the bay now. There's a mass exodus on this island around four o'clock. Even all like the beds and chairs and everything, I think it pretty much closes down around six. So yeah, we were originally meant to leave at six, but our guys just arrived and said we can leave a little earlier, which we might as well, because even the music has stopped. Coral Island! The boat pulls in and orients its long tail to direct us back inland. 
It's time to leave this island behind as the jagged hum of the petrol automotive engines and a retrofit of a use on the boat fires up. The horizon over the ocean is even more beautiful in the late afternoon as the sun begins to dip and illuminate the waves. As we ride back towards Brawai, we see the Phuket skyline with the big Buddha emerging from the hilltops. A private long tail is just such a romantic experience. Adam at sunset. Now our feet firmly on the ground, it's time for one last beer before heading back to rest. And I'm getting mighty tired of your traveling ways. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and keep your eyes peeled for more Thai adventures. Thanks for watching.